but uh, who knows what they're going to do. Who knows if they're even going to announce anything, honestly. Alrighty, that's it for Let's Go Pikachu tonight. On Sunday, we will continue. We're going to start off the stream. Don't know how long it's going to take. Might take the whole stream of uh, filling out the Pokedex. So we have Kangaskhan and Dratini, and then a few other Pokemon to grab. Some, again, some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you don't. So I, I will leave it at that. And to finish off, I will show off a blade per request of Sasha. So this one I got recently. It is not super big. Pretty sharp, I would say. I like the blade a lot. The blade design is really cool. The, the slot in the middle. And then I'll show you guys the hilt. Kind of has like a, a mummy pharaoh design at the top. And then on the bottom has like a a gem with the uh... yep this is my tied for my second most recent blade I got it in the same I got it from the auction that my dad used to pay more attention to um, I got it with a sword that is back there behind my TV um, Yes, loving up to my name, finally showing off some more swords and and daggers and stuff. So yeah, blade show off. You guys, you guys want another one? Okay, uh, show you the sword. All right, I can do that. That's fair. Foot reveal, yeah, that's the important part. So, here is the sword in its entirety. Reasonably long, not super heavy. Like I can, I can hold it easily with one hand. It is a bit loose, so it's not the best made, but you know. Uh. And then this is the pommel and then up to the cross guard. Yeah, Sarah, these are actual swords. Did you not know this about me? I have a collection of swords. Sarah, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blades in my room. If you have, do they come with sheaths? Uh, only one of them does. So, no. Well, okay, two of them actually. Uh, three of them, I guess. Two of them are kind of just like a pair, but yeah. This is the first time you see them? Well, if you want to see more, spend those channel points. <laughs> Here, I'll go put this one back real quick.
Foot reveal. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want me to show you more? Like, or should I just stop the stream there? It depends if you guys want to spend the channel points. Add feet to the redemption. No, I'm not becoming an OnlyFans. All right, Sash, which one do you want to see? Another one? Here, I'll get the most recent one, actually. The real treats do come after the games. All right, so this one I actually uh, bought off my dad. So this is the blade in its entirety. And so the the sword itself, the blade itself is pretty uh, like standard. Here, wait, Thor, come here. Come here, Thor. Here, as a special treat, guys. Thor, sit. Sit, pup. Sit. Here. As a special treat, you guys get to see the puppy. Ignore the plate on my on my desk. Uh it might be called that oh shit. Such a good puppy. Oh, he's so good. He's such a cutie. And now he wants butt scratches. Good pop. Here. Now, here is the uh, pommel. It's kind of got like dragon heads on the sides. Yeah, I did. And then it kind of leads into, like, it's like the whole, either side is, like, a different dragon. And then the cross guard kind of looks like, like some cool dragon wings. And then part of it actually goes onto the blade itself. How sharp are these boys? Uh, so this one is reasonably sharp. How many swords do I have? I have eight in my room. Well, eight blades. One of them, two of them are, one's a dagger, one's a short sword, and one is a very unconventional blade. Um, this one is pretty dull. The first sword I, so I showed you, I think is like moderately sharp. Here, I'm gonna go put this one back. If you guys want to see more, go ahead. Okay, here. Okay, Benji, let me let me ask you guys, what do you think this is going to be when I say it's an unconventional blade? I will give you an idea. The, the, the base of it fits in my hand. Nunchu? Like... You have no idea. So Valerio's guess is a sharp nunchuck. I'm telling you right now, it's not a sharp nunchuck. That sounds so dangerous. Uh, okay, well. Here. Here. 
here, you can kind of tell from that angle. I, did, I never said it was a sword, I said it was a blade. Uh, it is a metal spider with the mandibles and the ends of the legs are blades. I think it's pretty cool. My dad, my mom got this for my dad a few years ago, but he didn't want to put it up anywhere, so I took it. <laughs> well, good thing it's up on my desk, dude. Uh, I don't. I'm not concerned about it being on my floor. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and it's like reasonably big too. It comes with a stand. The stand is pretty cool. So like it goes on this. Is it sharp? It's not super sharp. The mandibles are definitely not sharp. The legs are like like it's pointy, but the, the it's not like so like the tip is pointy, but the, the, the length of it isn't sharp. Yeah, it's a sharp spider. It's pretty cool. Shall we do another? I have one, two, three, four more. And while I put this away, I'll let y'all decide. The OG one, the first one that I got, I don't even have to get up for this. So this is one of my nerd swords, I, so some of you might be able to tell from the sheath, but this is Trunks' sword from Dragon Ball Z. It has the red sheath and the, the hilt, it's not Optimus Prime, and then This is what it looks like. It's pretty simple, but I mean, he didn't have a complicated sword, so. Yeah, this is the, f looks hefty. Um, I mean, technically it's a two-handed one. There's space on the handle for both hands. But I mean, it's not, it's not actually made super heavy. It's like, uh, this one is, yeah, this one's sharp. <sighs> this one's fairly sharp. Not the sharpest one I have, but it's also not like the dullest either. It's like, it's, it's closer to being on the sharper side. Y'all got three more. Are we are we are we just doing them all right now or I kinda want you guys to do it all right now because this is I mean there's not much left. Alrighty, I'll grab the one that's above my desk. So this is another nerd one. This one is Genji's uh, deflection blade. It's called the Wakizashi. It's his. It's the in in um. Uh, in Overwatch, Genji's Oni skin. This is the sword that he uses for dashing and deflecting.
Um, I'm looking for I can't find it in on Google Images uh, an image of it in game so next time yes it is a Japanese short short so it's not very long as you can see it's pretty short this is it, it, this one does come with a sheath so it's pretty nice all the way up this is the the pommel has like a little bead hanging off of it and it has like a a, a gem that'll spin here it's meant to look like an eyeball and then if i open it this is what the blade looks like i don't know what this says i'm not gonna lie this one is pretty dull it's not sharp at all But it's really nice. Shall we do the last two? How much did this one cost me? Not a lot. Less, like, max $100. I think this one, plus the two that are up there, all together cost me 100 bucks. If you're asking how much this cost me, all of them together, 100, 100. The Genji one, I would say like 50 bucks. No, no, no. Th this one cost me uh, 100. Th this one cost me $50, but it came, I got it in a bundle with the, the other, the twin katanas that I have up there. So, the whole, all three together cost me, well, yeah, dude, that's what's great about Comic-Con, there's always deals. Uh, okay, I'll grab the one over there next. I actually forgot about one, the one, the, the dagger I have on my desk. So there's still two after this one. So this one I got from Kayla's uncle. Uh, got it for free. It's pretty nice. So the blade looks pretty normal all the way up till you get to the base where it looks really cool. And then if I flip it over, yeah, this is, this is like obviously like a decorative one. It's got a skull at the top here. It's kind of like chains wrapping around. And then like a Grim Reaper looking creature with some gargoyles on the side. Skeletons here. And then a cool pattern down the middle. And I got it for free, so... <laughs> You know, I'm not complaining. And it did come with a... Uh, who makes these things? I have no idea, dude. I have no idea who made this. Um, and it did come with, like, a, a backboard as well. But yeah. that This is uh, one of my swords. So, so if y'all got 4,000 channel points collectively, go for it. <laughs>
So this next one kind of comes in a set. So I have two of them. This is my last nerd sword. These are Deadpool's katanas. So this is what they look like from far. And here, I'll open one of them. And that's what that one, that's what these ones look like. These ones are really nice. I like them. My only problem with these ones is that I can't clean the inside of the sheath, the scabbard. So the blade ends up being like, like it has like a, like a film on it from the inside that I, like, even if I clean the blade, it, it just comes, it, it, it gets on there every time I put it in. So not really much I can do about that. I've tried it, dude. I've tried everything. I can't. It's because it's fucking long. I guess. Uh... But, I mean, keeping it. Keeping it like this, it still looks pretty nice. I mean. I think so, at least. And then, last but not least, I have a dagger that my Yaya got me from Greece when she went a couple summers ago. And this is, I think, a replica of Alexander the Great's sword. So it's not very big. I mean, it is it's small. But. You can see the, the pattern. And then there's more like that. It's got a, a little figure there. And then it has a like a, a jewel on the pommel. This is a dagger. It's a replica of Alexander the Great's sword, but like tiny. So it's not very big. You can see me holding it, but it's really nice. The, Yeah, I mean, it's not like, this one's like not sharp at all either, right? Like, it's pretty dull. But even like the point is like, I don't know if you can see that. The point is like, like kind of like rounded off. And it at some point had a, uh, a design on the blade. I don't know if you can kind of see that there, like the gold markings. How many more I got? This is the last one. Yeah, this this one's really nice. I don't have any more, dude. None that are mine. <laughs> Bring a kitchen knife. What do you mean do a serious review of a kitchen knife? Bruh, no, <laughs> I refuse. I'm not reviewing my kitchen knives. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that's going to be it for me tonight, guys. This was fun. We uh, we made it through Victory Road and beat the 8th Gym Leader in Pokemon, and uh, y'all saw all the blades that I have in my room. Warzone? Yep. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll hop on Discord in a minute, Sash. So, uh, next stream is going to be Sunday, and we're going to play some more Pokemon, and, uh, 
like I said, we're going to fill out the Pokedex and then probably start challenging the Pokemon League. Assuming we have time. So I will see y'all then. Peace out. And don't forget to leave your suggestions for games to play in the future in uh, on, the, on the Discord. See you guys. Peace out. Thanks for coming out.